You know what's even better than just being in a relationship? It's being in a relationship and knowing where it's going. It's understood that the hashtag relationship goals posts aren't the full picture and that the intensity of the initial infatuation levels out over time. But how do you know if you're not just leveling out but slowly making your way to the exit? Do you work even harder on the relationship or are the signs motioning you towards the solo fly zone? We won't tell you what to do and only you can decide for yourself when enough is enough. However, here are some signs that when frequent could mean it's time to make a relationship status change. Number one, what is the problem? No one can agree. To work on an issue together, no matter the method, you first have to all agree on what it is. So you're both working on the same thing. If one partner believes the other is the source of all problems and the other thinks that it's the dirty dishes causing the fights, frustration will skyrocket when each party tries to solve a different problem. Common ground is required to make real change. Each party making half-baked potatoes does not a meal make. Number two, you would rather spend time anywhere else but with them. Calm down, we get it. The pandemic forced us all into constant close quarters for way longer than any of us planned. Needing to have a couple of hours of alone time here and there is totally normal and healthy. We're so not discouraging that. What is a sign of this might be the end though is when the feeling of wanting to be away is constant. It may be to the point where you might try actively finding other things to do, either alone or with other people, solely to not spend time with your partner. Number three, you're getting serious cold feet about the future. Let's whip out our crystal ball and just kidding. None of us know the future. All we can do is plan smartly for it and have some contingency plans if things make a detour. So when you're looking ahead, but realize that either your partner doesn't fit anywhere in that picture, even if you really want them to, or if you feel deeply uneasy about it, don't ignore it. This could be a chance to look at things as a whole and objectively figure out why you feel this way. Number four, you're both firmly growing in different directions. Change is good, even if it doesn't feel that way in the moment. A mark of growth is change. However, that doesn't mean we grow the same way. This isn't good or bad, just different. Depending on your needs, you may choose to get out the gardening gear and work on growing together, adjusting to each other's changes. Sometimes though, the paths are wildly different or one partner is rigidly fixated on their path. So growing together isn't reasonable or possible this might be a sign to flourish somewhere else. Number five, you see only their flaws. Love is blind. And isn't that true in the beginning? We tend to ignore all the flaws at first. Over time, sure, we see some and accept them along with their positive traits. Should the way you view them now be the complete opposite of the beginning and all their flaws override everything else that may be good about them? maybe things are starting to derail. When you're not only noticing mostly their flaws, but are outwardly complaining about them to your friends all the time, to the point where they might start asking, why are you even with them? That could well be a sign that calling it quits could be healthy for both of you. Number six, the prospect of another partner seems more appealing. Don't worry too much about that cute bartender you saw or the attractive coworker you noticed is attractive we're still human and just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean you suddenly don't know what good looking is do note if while thinking about someone else you're also entertaining leaving your partner for them if the notice undermines the connection with your partner this could be a sign that the connection is weakened and may be on the verge of breaking number seven your arguments are escalating disagreements can be healthy helping us to learn more about each other if they become discussions with solutions, that is. Was not healthy? Arguments that are constant, petty, and have no solution. Maybe the argument was never meant to have a solution and you're both just hurling anger at each other like supercharged fireballs, the only intent being to hurt the other person. So don't throw in the towel if there's a fight, but it isn't a bad idea to assess what exactly is the goal of this fight. If it's simply for mutual destruction, the relationship may well be over. Relationships can be hard. We know nothing truly good ever came easy. 
So it's understandable that sometimes we give more time, thought, and patience to our partners than we would to others. Even so, it's always good to know your own boundaries so you can see when it's healthier to walk than to stay. Did you recognize any of these situations? Are you noticing something in yourself or others? Please discuss and comment. We'd love to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.